everyone. Happy Thursday. I hope you are having a phenomenal February. Things have been a bit chaotic around here with the launch of the Revision Vision, which is my online course to help authors be their own story editor. There's more information below if you're interested. But there are so many amazing books out this month, I wanted to make sure to get my recommendation video out. So let's dive in. First is A Day of the Fallen Ninth by Samantha Shannon. Now I have to admit, I haven't read The Priory of the Orange Tree, which is her first book yet, because it is a massive book. But I've heard such amazing things, I know I'm going to need to have the time to sit and read it all at once. But now I have even more to look forward to. A Day of the Fallen Night is a standalone prequel, so you can read it now or after the first book. And it tells the story of three women who are shaping the world for generations to come, leading into the first story. I think I'm still going to read The Priory of the Orange Tree first, because even though this is a prequel, since it was written second, I'll bet you there are some great Easter eggs and foreshadowing in there that will resonate more if you read The Priory first. But if you've already read the first book, let me know what you think in the comments. But either way, I cannot wait to dive in. This comes out February 28th. Second is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Chokshi. I'll admit, the cover caught my eye for this at first, but I love the idea of this story. It reminds me of the Greek myth of Orpheus and Eurydice, where he wasn't supposed to look back as they made their way out of hell. But of course, the temptation proved to be too much. The Last Tale of the Flower Bride is a story of a young man and woman who get married, a lover of myths and an heiress to a fortune bound for life. And the only promise she asks him to make is to never pry into her past. But when tragedy strikes and they're forced to return to her childhood home, will temptation prove to be too strong? How amazing does that sound? This haunting love story of lies, secrets, and betrayal comes out on pretty accurately, February 14th. Third is She is a Haunting by Trang Than Tran. The tagline for this story is the house eats and is eaten. How terrifyingly intriguing is that? The story follows Jade, who travels to Vietnam for a visit with her estranged father. Five weeks of pretending to be a happy family and she'll get the money she was promised for her college. But the house has other plans. Weird sounds, terrifying bugs, and the ghost of a beautiful bride haunt her, warning her, don't eat. Jade must keep her family together against all odds, even as the house is determined to destroy them once and for all. How creepy but awesome does that sound? This is out February 28th. Then finally, with a definite switch in vibe, you can tell I read all over the place, is The Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score. This is a much lighter book than the last few we just talked about, but it's still dark in its own right. This is a contemporary romantic suspense, the sequel to The Things We Never Got Over, which dives into the love that can be found even amidst a traumatic past, as the characters try to move on from what haunts them and find comfort in each other. The as always fabulous writing from Lucy Score, swoon-worthy romance with characters that have a dark side, and a hint of romantic suspense, I am here for it. And this is out February 21st. What are you looking forward to reading this month? Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else I should be adding to my list. Don't forget, this is the last week to sign up for the Revision Vision course if you're interested. Again, I'll put the link below if you would like to know more. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and you can know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, keep reading. Mm -hmm.